Most of us spend so much time skirting around a subject to death that it's only when you take a good look around you realise it's bloody everywhere. You're born to die, you're not born to live. I really could, I could let it go if I had to. <laughs> I want to go out with a bang. I yeah. want people to laugh. Oh, I'm not going to die. I'm immortal. I've lived in the US for almost 30 years, and in the States, death is more than an inevitability. It's a huge $21 billion a year industry, and that's what I want to explore. How grief and money mix, and what kind of people make a living from dying? So I've come to Austin, Texas, to the National Funeral Directors Association convention. Sounds good, doesn't it? Been well? No, I've not been well. Huh? I'm just looking at the stuff just in case. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you can't be too careful. Well, yeah, but you're like planning ahead. Who knows? With almost 7,000 attendees and over There's 300 some... exhibitors from all across the globe, this place is a veritable oh, festival of undertakers. It make them cannonballing down to the sky, gleaming its eyes. Oh, now we're talking Beverly Hillbillies. There are many people that just want to. Be and buried in a pine box. Now, how many times have you heard really that? That really appeals yeah. to me. Uh, well, a lot of people it appeals to. It has a, a Clint, yeah. Clint Eastwood That's, feel to it. Well, there you have it. Could you tell me how much it would be? Four forty-five. Four forty-five. Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So you could buy it. And I'll even throw the lid in on it. You could buy it while you're still alive and use it as furniture until you die. You can do anything dead. you want with it. You can make it your bed and sleep yeah. in it every night just so you can have it all just carved out, just to fit perfect. <laughs> First things first, funerals ain't cheap. The average American funeral costs $10,000, almost twice as much as in Britain, and a lot of that is in the box you're buried in. Run your hand across it. It feels like something you've probably never felt in coffee. Ooh. And it's super light, so you can pick it up with one finger. So in case you get no friends to carry your coffin. <laughs> This picks up on carpets as well as floors. I'm sure it does. What are you doing at a funeral show? Every, funeral homes have carpeting. Carpeting needs to be cleaned, right? I'm sure we've all wondered at some point, how many ways can I make money out of dead people? <laughs> well, if you put your mind to it, like the good folks of the Funeral Directors Association, you would be amazed. After the bare essentials, like embalming fluid, party packs, and special shampoos for dry, lifeless hair, you've got the domestic soft furnishings. These are blankets that we have at a funeral, and then they can take them home after to help comfort them through the dark hours. We have one widow that actually takes a nap every day at the same time. So she takes it and lies it in the bed with her. And one lady just said, you know, my husband and I used to have a drink. Every day at 5 o'clock, we'd have a cocktail. So she sets her throw over in his little chair and has a drink, and they still have their cocktail together every year. And she drinks his and she well. drinks his too. <laughs> and the hard sell doesn't end there. You've got zombie-proof steel coffins, hot rod hearses, and for the adventures, rockets to the moon for your ashes.